hey beautiful people so i am in the mood to make a book haul mostly my christmas uh books that i receive because i have so much many books that i bought lately that i should probably try to sit down for so here's my book haul uh also thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe uh comment down below what you've hauled lately and let me know what you're currently reading and um don't mind my hair please thank you <laughs> all right so i bought a lot of books but first i'm gonna show you what i got for christmas <laughs> sorry first from my oldest brother i got dune uh, i had it in ebook i had it in audiobook and i was just not connecting to it uh the only reason i wanted a hardback is because it's that I'm pretty. Um, also, it's introduction is by Neil Gaiman. I didn't know that. And um, I want to write in it, note, annotate the hell out of it, and I really want to get to it. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't even see that. <laughs> so it's doing you. I don't think I need to explain what it is. The movie came out a few months, like a month ago, and I still haven't watched it because I really want to read it. I listened to it at least a good 100 pages, really fell in love with it. I just need to memorize what character is what because I keep forgetting. Then I got um, from, so my oldest brother asked me a list of books that he could buy for me, so he picked Dune out of it and he gave my list to my younger brother, which I didn't know. So my younger brother got me Six Crimson Cranes uh, by Elizabeth Lim. I really wanted it. The only sad part, it's not the special edition, but I really wanted this book. I have it on ebook, but I, I just like annotating lately. Like my whole bookshelf, like, you know, I really want to annotate. So I got this one. It's, uh, I always write uh, like star reading and who it's from and the dates that I'm reading it uh, so but it's very pretty one sec I'm just gonna show you look at this um am I the only one that loves map they're even better when they're in the dust jacket but I love maps um, I love just seeing where they're actually it they are actually are I can't talk English today and I really wanted to know like it's just I really want to read it but you know my whole bookshelf is almost not read so I have issues <laughs> but anyways that's another one uh, that I got sis comes from crane it says uh, the only princess of Kiara has a secret forbidden magic runs through her vein normally she conceals it well but on the morning of her betrothal ceremony she already loses control at first her mistake seems like a stroke of luck forest tailing the wedding she never wanted but it also catches the attention of Rurikama, her stepmother it just our the cover it just feels so good and then my same brother that got me the six carousel crane gave me a gift card to indigo which is our chapters which is technically canadian barnes and noble <laughs> and i got myself vespertine by margaret rogerson so I'll be excited with this one. Uh, one, um, I have an ebook. I just want a physical again. And two, hardback was only seventeen dollars for Canadian prices. This is gold, okay? Um, so I got it on uh, Boxing Day, the twenty seventh. I just want to show you how pretty it is. So it's very, very shiny, like it's reflective, and then. So anyways, I'm very excited. I'm going to read this. I've read all her books to, until now. Uh, my favorite of both of them uh, was Sorcery of Torns. Mm, very good. Um, so she's the one that wrote The Shutman of Raven and Sorcery of Torns. And this one here, The Dead of Lorelei. Lorelei? Lorel? Do not rest. Artemisia is, I can't speak, is training to be the gray sister and nun who cleanses the body of the deceased so that their soul can pass on. Otherwise, they will rise the spirit with a ravenous hunger for the living. She would rather deal with the dead than the living who trades whispers around her scared hand and troubled past. When her covenant is attacked by possessed soldiers, 
Artemisia defends it by awakening an ancient spirit bound to a saint relic. It is a revenant, a malevolent being that threatened to possess her the moment she drops her guard, wielding an extraordinary power almost consume her. But death has come to Lorai and only a Vespertine, a priestess trained to wield a high relic, has any chance of stopping it. With all the knowledge of Vespertine lost to time, Artemisia turns to the last remaining expert for help, the Revenant itself. I'm sure you read, okay. Anyway, very excited for it. And then, my boyfriend got me this one I'm very excited about, and it's amazing. So, I've heard a lot, we've all heard about Neil Gaiman and how amazing he is. Ah, uh, my boyfriend got me Sandman, the first one. First of all, spread edges in color. <gasps> like it's so heavy and hefty. Like it's it's a beast, and I'm very excited. And just notice it's upside down. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very excited. So that's the cover, Neil Gaiman, Sandman. Uh, so it's an omnibus, omnibus. Anyways, it's the first one. There's like three of them. This is very expensive, okay? So I'm very, very excited for it, definitely. So anyways, that's what I got from my boyfriend. The smell of the new book is just amazing. And like, it's all in color, so I'm very excited. So, that's what I got. Do you want to ask me what Sandman is about? I have no clue. I just know it's still given and I need to read it. Then, um... With that, I actually got some books. Uh, so I already, I had already bought the Silent Voice books. I got three of them from Amazon. One, two, three. Really, really love them. So with the Amazon, uh, the sorry, the Indigo gift card that my boyfriend gave me for Christmas, I bought Silent Voice five. Well, four, five, six, and seven. And I'm very excited to continue it. I really love this series. Um, the first one was 3.5 stars and then 4 stars for the other one. So I'm very excited about this. All about bullying. A boy, he bullies another girl that's deaf just for the fun of getting new friends. And he turns out to be bullied himself from the people that feel like he went way too far. And it's about him almost like trying to apologize to her. And he like goes to the, the length of actually learning sign language so then he gets closer to her so it's very very good until now I'm really loving it and it's good and then I got Kirby <laughs> I just saw this for like 10 bucks and I just had to get it it's so cute and it's just like a Kirby manga very excited so we all know the Kirby tale kind of I never played this when I was younger because we only had Donkey Kong and like, like boxing games. I, I I grew up with boys. We didn't have any Super Mario. I only went to my cousin to play that. But yeah. And then um, what else? What else? Oh yeah, with the gift card as well. Uh, well, technically the gift card is pretty much ex <laughs> I've used used it, but I bought it with my own money. I really wanted to get a hold of The Witcher. So I got 0 0.1 and 0 0.7 plus uh, 1, 2, 3. So I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited to read these because I'm so immersed in the new. Like, I watched the first season in one sitting, I think. I know I was working, but like, ah, oh. and the ending? Mmm. Do we have to talk about it? Anyways, I'm very excited. <laughs> so then I have the last three here that I want to show you. Um, the last three here are actually, I just bought them. Actually, no. Rumi got from um, the same place that I went Indigo. I bought the same time that I bought um, The Witcher. But Rumi, I saw this on um, Read With Chloe, Chloe book from Australia. Um, and they were reading this and it's I'm really I really want to get into poetry because I love emotions. I love love. I just want to get into it. Okay, so I bought this and I want to start reading it eventually 
it's just I'm one that likes to annotate and like immerse myself in each word and really like fall in love with each poem I don't know poetry I'm French okay sorry anyway so I'm actually very excited for this um so it's the essential of Rumi and it's translated by Coleman Barks so I'm very excited for it. I think there's like three of these and then the last two I got fairy tale. It was like eight bucks. Wanted to try it. So fairy tale. I have no clue what it's about. It says the wicked side of wizardry. Cute girl wizard Lucy wants to join the fairy tale, a club for the clutches of a gang of unsavory pirates led by Diggy's magician. Her only hope is not to a stranger boy. She happened to meet to her travel, not to not your typical hero. He gets it motion sickness, eats like a pig, and his best friend is a talking cat. My cats kind of talk to me. So anyways, with friends like this, it's Lucy better off with her enemy. <laughs> Look at that. It's super cute. I love it. And then the last one I got is five centimeters per second. Uh, this one was on special, so I just wanted to pick it up. I'm trying to get into more manga because I love it. I just tend to like, there's so many pictures. I'm like, it goes fast, yes, but my brain is like ADHD, anyways. So, um, I actually am diagnosed, not making fun of it. <laughs> anyways, I have five centimeters per second, and it says here, based on the multiple award winning film, so they actually have a film of it. Remember a time before cell phone could be found in every pocket, or when even accessing the world wide web was something only read, readily available in the library. Back then, letters still fill the post box and moments just felt so much more precious when captured on Polaroid film. Now life seems to move at all speed of light, our memories are captured and shared with the world on social media platforms and love, which is already capricious, can't say that word, <laughs> can feel like it. it is moving at terminal velocity. In Makoto Shinkai's definite world, the internationally renowned director and animator unfolds a love story that is a timeless and it is as fleeting. Yukiko Siki's rendition of this modern classic adds a new level of emotional intimacy that is required to its source material. It doesn't really say what it's about, I guess. That's pretty. It's a huge one. Anyways, so I'm very excited to try it. So. That's another one. So with that, that's pretty much my book haul. I have more coming. I'm trying to get into YouTube again. I, so I'm trying to get into YouTube again. Um, uh, YouTube has been an escape for me, and I finally kind of um, confronted all my childhood. So I actually feel like it actually be on here and feel more confident in myself and not care about what people think so well I kind of care but you know so with that I thank you very much for watching this video um, and don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below what you're reading and hopefully I will be back I just need to edit this one and try to not care about what I look like trying <laughs> anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you next time